Hi, my name is Andrea Coriali, celebrity caterer and owner of Elegant Affairs. Have you been the person chosen to plan the farewell party of a business associate and feel overwhelmed? Well, I'm going to give you a few tips to make it a lot easier. First, you need to make a list. You want to make a list of all of the people that you need to invite. You also want to make a list of all the other details that are involved in planning a party. First, you have to figure out the venue, whether it's going to be in a restaurant, a catering venue, or maybe just in the office. Secondly, you want to decide on the menu. Is it going to be a daytime menu, an evening menu, or maybe even a brunch? You want to think about the vibe. Do you want it to be a cocktail party? Do you want it to be a serious luncheon? You want to take all of these ideas and put them down on paper and then delegate, delegate, delegate. You do not have to take on all of this responsibility on your own. Send an invite to all the people that are in the company or work with the person who's having the farewell party. Have a meeting and give everybody a task. So you take volunteers. If someone is in charge of the venue, then, they're, then they are the ones that are going to find the venue. They will decide if it's at the house, the catering hall, the venue. When it comes to menu design, you have that one person decide upon the menu. What will the appetizers be? What will the entree be? What will the dessert be? Who's going to write the farewell speech? That should be one of the person's job. And that way, when you delegate all of these jobs, it makes it a lot easier on you. A checklist that you can go by is the following. You want to think about food. You want to think about bar and beverages. You want to think about whether you're using china, flatware, glassware, or paper goods if you're having it in somebody's home. You want to think about seating. If you don't have ample seating, then you want to make a menu that's easy for people to pick up, mix and mingle, and kind of graze. You want to think about the speech. A speech is really important at a farewell party. It should be something that comes from the heart, something that makes the person who's leaving feel really special and appreciated. A gift. There's always a farewell gift. So when you have your initial meeting, ask everybody what dollar amount they feel comfortable with spending. Then you pool the money, and then yes, you delegate to another person to pick out the perfect gift for that person. Then you need to recruit some people to actually help set up the party. So when the day of the party is actually here, two to three hours prior to, to the event, they will be on site making sure that everything goes smoothly. Lastly, a cake. Everybody has to have a farewell cake, and the farewell cake should have some personality. So if the person who's leaving loves to play golf, maybe make it a golf-themed cake. But the cake should be special, and the sentiment on the cake should be something really heartfelt. Those are my tips for planning a farewell party. I'm Andrea Coriali from Elegant Affairs, and this is eHow.com.